ユベルユベルのモンスター効果発動俺のあがきだユベルの流れをつかむ才能があるわ目くそ鼻くそ耳くそどもがそしてイキュービックのエフェクト発動初めてやられるやつになれるってことをさ苦しみと悲しみの中でこそ Alright, what's going on, guys? It's Versa Collectibles, and literally, this is literally like the fourth time I'm trying to record this video. The beginning, dude, my voice was just like, ugh, just like super scratchy. I sounded like I was sick, even though I'm not sick. But yeah, guys, welcome back to another video. We got another mail day right here for you guys. It's gonna be a shorter one, but、uh, we got some really cool cards in here. A lot of stuff for our Cyber Dragon collection, my Cyber Dragon collection, I guess, but I guess it's ours too. If you really support the channel that much. But yeah,、um, just kind of wanted to show you guys. And I really want to film this because, you know, it's some, it's like big cards for the collection. But also,、uh, the other day, not the other day, but probably like a week or so ago, I ordered a card. And let's just say it did not go very well.、Uh, the card got severely damaged.、Um, whether it was the seller's fault or UPS or whatever, I have no idea. The, like, it came in like something kind of like this, a little bigger, you know, like the bigger bubble mailers. And that was all. Destroyed and like really messed up. Then, when I opened it up, the card was like hanging out. I'll show you guys the card right now. Such a beautiful card. Like, just imagine this card, but just perfect. Nothing of the damage I'm going to show you happened to it. Just gonna move my mic over a little bit. But as you guys can see, like, God, it was so clean. Like, you could see the back too. Like, the back was really nice. Like, this card in general was just beautiful. But then it got really bent at the top there. You guys can kind of see. Really up here, and then on the corner here, it got kind of like creased up there. Same with the top, and then kind of like on this corner here. It was just, it was horrible. If you guys are interested in this card for any reason, though, I'd be willing to give you a good deal on it. I can get some money back, but yeah, it was just, it was not a very good experience. So, and my buddy of mine, Cardbreaker TCG, he was just like, you know, dude, like just start filming everything, like film every opening, not even specifically for YouTube, but just film it, even with your phone, because. If something like that ever happens again, I'd be able to have some kind of evidence because at that time I didn't record it. I just opened it, came home and opened it, and yeah, it was just ruined. So yeah, I'm definitely taking that advice from now on and just gonna be recording everything. So we're gonna record this and we're gonna we're gonna have some fun, guys. I'm gonna show you some stuff. We got some stuff in the works too, don't worry. I'm really excited for the,、uh, the Dual Academy or like the GX,、uh, what is it? The speed duel set or whatever, I really don't care about it, but because it's GX, obviously, you guys know I'm a big GX fan, so I definitely will be picking that up and we will definitely be opening that on the channel.、Uh, I just spoiled, hopefully, none of you guys saw that. I'll fuck it out if anything. But、uh, yeah, so we got this here. I'm gonna go ahead and open it. It's kind of really loose packaging. This is coming all the way from Germany. It's not like a German card or anything, but、um, yeah, let's take a look here. Let's see, I think I remember what it is. Ah,、uh, yes, Cyber Dragon First Edition Legendary Collection GX. I guess I'm pretty sure it's Euro print, and I really like the Euro prints because they're just darker and it just looks really nice. Actually, like a nice sleeve. I'm still gonna put it in my own sleeve, but yeah, I really like the Euro cards. There's a big difference in Legendary Collection GX between the Euro and the American. The American's really bright and like vibrant. Wow. Ooh, is that damage? Oh god, maybe here, here we go. Let's see. Or is it just the sleeve? Because, oh no, dude, again! No way that this this happened again. All right, well, good thing we caught it on camera. You guys can see that horrible crease. It got lines in there, bro. That was really like you can kind of see it there, dude. Good thing, good thing I opened it, man, on camera. And God, that was gonna be such a clean card too. Bro, are you serious? Like, this thing was all pretty dented up and everything, too, man. Dude, my luck right now. Good thing I. Good thing I opened this on camera, dude. It's so clean looking as well. Like, this would have been perfect, but yeah, it's really got bent up there. God, man, alright. Well, hopefully, hopefully the package that we have next is not like that. Jeez, man, that actually, dude, I saw it and I was like, wait a minute, is that the sleeve or is that. Oh, my heart is so broken right now. At least I filmed it.、Uh, this will be going up on YouTube eventually. Will not be adding that guy to my collection, but. 
Yeah, I'll, I'll figure out some stuff on eBay really quick. I don't know if they're going to be able to do anything about it, but dude, that is another L for me. <laughs> like, why is my luck... But anyways, we've got this package coming from the boy. You already know who he is. We've been doing a lot of deals with him and uh, King Sidra. So we have got a really nice addition to the collection here. Hopefully it does not end up like this guy. Dude, that bums me out. I was super excited. Like you can see it there in the top right corner. Ah, okay. Well, hopefully this guy is all good. I believe he should be. I am butchering this opening right now let's see if we can get some more of the tape off here i kind of pre-opened it but i didn't expect it to be like this okay there we go all right so let's get all this bubble out of here awesome a lot of bubble i appreciate it making sure that <laughs> these don't happen to this dude i, I i'm so bummed I'm, I'm gonna stop talking about it i'll figure it out later but that was like such a clean card uh, okay, well, hopefully these guys should be clean and I would rather have that guy be dinged up than what we have in here because we've got the two really cool cards inside of this little mailer here. All right, let's take a look. All right, oh, it's pretty glued on there. All right, there we go. Sorry if it's really loud. Maybe I should kind of open more of these off camera so you guys' ears don't explode, but I just like opening everything just how it is so let's go ahead and take it out you see one card there which is part of the transaction part of the deal but the one on the back is the one that's like the money money that's the one that like we really wanted for the collection let's go ahead and open this up and then we'll take a look here yeah these guys look a lot <laughs> gonna look a lot better i hope so yeah this is just a first edition ultra rare uh, this is actually a euro print as well and i actually i'm not sure about the difference between euro and uh, american prints for cybernetic revolution but let's take a look here it's just a ultra rare first edition but it looks really nice i actually just don't have this card i had an unlimited version i'm actually selling and i was like yeah i'm gonna have to pick up a first edition one but yeah he is he is pretty good like honestly <laughs> i don't know what you were talking about like i maybe see like a little bit of whitening down there but that's like not bad at all. Like I'm pretty picky when it comes to my cards, especially when it's for like my collection like this, like I really care about. And so I'm pretty picky, but he was saying this might not be up to my standard, but from what I see, it looks really good. Like obviously just maybe like tiny bits of whitening, just a little bit, like I guess a little up there, but you know, like honestly, this is the cleanest one that I've seen to be honest. And like, if you look up on eBay, like this card, it's just crazy because people will sell it for like $40 maybe and then you'll have some people trying to sell it for like two or three hundred and it's like I, I actually don't think that card is this card is worth that much but yeah but for the collection I'm just gonna take a look off camera it's kind of looking myself that looks really cool I guess the one difference I might see between this and an American print is just like the the lighting like it's it's just darker like for some reason the american prints are a lot brighter especially with like the foil but it's darker and i really like it but yeah this is actually like a pretty good card like i definitely will put this in my collection yeah that is really clean i like it okay but this this is the this is the boy that we paid a paid a pretty good price for so this is going to be it says one right here but we started from zero so technically this is my second but we have my second Cyber Dragon, first edition, ultimate rare, and we just need one more, guys. By the end of this month, we will be done with these guys. These guys are pretty, you know, pretty expensive, so I'll be glad to be done with that. I can move on to some other stuff with the collection. Let's go ahead and take a look here. He said it's pretty clean. It's not like minty, 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 but the next one we're gonna be buying, I'm paying in a little extra because it will be minty. Like you can kind of see like maybe like a little white right there or anything, but like the artwork is clean, maybe like a little bit up top in the corner, but it's not like it's bent or anything. Not like, not like that guy, <laughs> but yeah, looks really pretty good on the front. Take a look at the back. Back is, seems pretty nice as well. Like one thing it's so hard, I really care about the backs of cards as well. and. I just, yeah, it's so hard to find clean backs on a lot of cards. 
Yeah, besides like a tiny bit of whitening, like kind of up at the top there, maybe on that corner down here, the bottom corners look pretty good. But yeah, and then the front looks really clean. Like there's no scratches on the artwork. Might have like a little whitening up top, but yeah, that is really clean. Like these cards are awesome. And like, honestly, finding these cards like this is so hard. And like the only way you're gonna find clean cards like this is if they're graded. And I don't feel like paying that premium to be honest. But yeah, this guy's really clean. So this looks really, really nice. Let's get him in a sleeve real quick just to make sure. But yeah, guys, I, I don't know. At least these guys are good, but my luck, man, with just other cards is just not good <laughs> like this poor guy he was probably so perfect and then he came out like that i i want to say it's ups because or usps not ups because uh this package like was just moved to entirely random spots that it did not need to go it like went past where i was at was sent somewhere else came back did all this stuff so it just took a lot of unnecessary travel to get here and, and that's the result of that. So I'll figure out what I can do. If any of you guys want this for any reason, just let me know. I can give you another good deal on it. But yeah, but at least these guys, you know, these guys came out good, which are more, way more important than this guy. So I'm really happy about that. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, if you learned any lessons like I, like I did, always film your openings because you never know what kind of stuff can happen. So appreciate you guys watching. And uh, yeah, I'll catch you guys later. Peace.